Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Motorsport Manager. So we're here in the Endurance Racing Series and so far things are going well. Now granted, as you can see at the top of the screen, we have the worst of everything except for the pit crew and we're fourth out of the six teams in that area. But uh, given where we are and the staff and the drivers and so on that we have, I think things are going very well. Now it's going to be interesting with this next race because Guilford you can see it shows that practice is going to be raining, qualifying it's going to be raining, and for the race it's going to be raining. So that's going to make for an interesting uh, strategy call on how we're going to run that race because, of course, driver stamina seems to be the weak link in, uh, in these races so far. So we're, we're working on getting some better drivers. We're doing all of the scouting we can do right now. Uh, and, in fact, we've built an HQ building that will give us access uh, to even a, a bigger list of hopefully better drivers or at least some of those drivers that we open up will be better on but that's still five weeks away and so what I want to do uh, before we get into the mail and, and all that kind of thing I want to go into our drivers tab and I want to try something in this next race so right now our drivers lineup is exactly default it's exactly the way uh, it was given to us whenever we started the team however I want to make some changes because uh, as I mentioned, driver stamina is so crucial, and right now we have a few drivers that are okay on stamina, and some of the others just simply are not, and it makes it very hard uh, to minimize the number of stops you make during the race. So one of the things I want to do first is swap out Carolyn over here with Rico. And so what we're trying to do here is I'm going to swap out and try to get all of the drivers with the high stamina on the same team. Okay, we're going to put them on the same car, and that way I'm going to see if we can't do this on two stops. So it will mean each of these guys will run basically an hour. Now my hope is that we can run a little bit more than an hour with the first couple of drivers here, uh, just so we can give ourselves a little padding. And if, it's, if it doesn't work out, then fine, it doesn't work out. But I want to give that a shot and see if we can get that done. So over here, what this means on car number two is quite simply that we're just not going to have uh, the stamina needed. We're going to have to make a lot more pit stops, probably at least, uh, I'm thinking at least two more pit stops realistically. Uh, but that's something we're going to test out again. All this is about having fun and testing out different scenarios and seeing how they work out. Let's go ahead and work our way through some of these emails, most of which we won't care at all about, such as this one. Now, this one we do care about, the car condition. So again, right around 50% uh, on average for the car. So it gives us something to shoot for whenever we're thinking about our parts. Okay, let's do a quick interview. Only one question. Uh, let's see. So Elisa has been telling, or her agent has been telling reporters that she's interested in signing. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right, let's, let's just go ahead and answer there. And that gives her a new personality trait. Now, I don't know anything about Elisa. But it never hurts to have a personality trait that says she's open to, to discussing terms with our team. That is never a bad thing. So let's see, pit crew review. All right, we're not going to worry too much about that because uh, we're going to do the best we can. In fact, let's go ahead and take a quick look at them, make sure there's nobody at the point that we need to swap them out, or at least that we can swap out. Uh, let's see, we've got... The front jack here, that this guy is getting dangerously close to the red area. And by the way, these red areas are huge. I mean, wow, I can understand one every now and then, you know, with a red area this large, but this is huge. And I, it just doesn't make sense to me because we're talking about a month in between races almost. And why on earth would these guys still be very tired before the next race. It doesn't make any sense to me. So we'll come back to this. Uh, hopefully during this 24 days they're regaining stamina, but if that's not the case, then that's a mechanic that doesn't make any sense to me. But uh, so we've got our drivers taken care of. We've got our pit crew taken care of for now. So let's go ahead and move forward on the calendar. We should have some, some things going on, such as driver scouting being completed. All right, let's get that email out of the way. Our repairs are done, which means that it is time for us to get back to work 
on this now. Let's see. Let me just go ahead and get this out of there. We're not worried about any performance related adjustments right now. And I don't want to take a chance of staff being allocated over here by accident. So let's see. Right now, so far, so good. But what I want to do, let's go ahead and I want to work on these engines. Because what um, I think we want to do, the one consistent thing we want to do, is we want to run the engine as hard as we can and for us I think that's going to be level three or pushing the engine and to do that we're going to need all the reliability from it that we can get uh, since we can't really push our drivers due to stamina issues and so let's go ahead and do that it says that it'll be done six days before the race and that's for the terrible staff we have right now so that's not bad uh, and we don't need it quite all the way to 100 although I may let it go all that way uh, just to give us some uh, some room. All right, let's go ahead and continue moving forward. And we're coming up on another scouting being done. Okay, there we go. All right, I wanted to pause it there. Let's see, don't care about any of that. Let's see what the scouting report says. All right, so Gonzalo would be a fairly decent driver. Okay, he won't be improving much, not worried about that. Adaptability is good. Uh, adaptability should help us out uh, for the race when we have those lines that we looked at for the, the setup preference. Uh, more adaptability should help out and give him longer lines so that he can get some benefit out of other setups. Oh, he's controversial. Okay, so let's head over to the scouting department and take a look at Gonzalo. First and foremost, what kind of stamina does he have? 85 and a fairly low red area there so that's not bad uh, and he is controversial which means he's a little bit higher marketability but the chairman doesn't like him okay he's not he's not bad uh, aside from the controversial part of it so he's not bad we'll keep him on the list and and think about him for the future so i think his stamina is is where we need it to be uh, of course me i'm i would prefer everybody had had 99 on stamina but Okay, here we go. So we've got our first political vote, but before we get to that, our newspaper rumors uh, that we're thinking of getting rid of. Okay, so there we go. We, we've seen this before. If you followed in our original playthrough of Motorsport Manager, this kind of random stuff pops up all the time. And what does it do? It kills the morale of a particular driver. So uh, this is the kind of stuff we really can't do anything about. It just happens randomly. So let's go ahead and get over to the vote. Uh, it's last chance bonus payments. So this is to help out the teams that would uh, we finish toward the bottom. So the last place team in the team championship is given $250,000 payment at the end of each race in order to allow them to catch up to their teams. Now this could be a little interesting because we could take advantage of that and make sure we finish last to get that money until we can build up a sufficient amount to really work on our HQ and cars and, and whatnot. But uh, I don't want this type of thing. I, I really don't care all that much, but I'm going to go ahead and vote against that because that incentivizes losing, and I'm just not a fan of that. Let's go ahead and skip to the end. And, okay, it was rejected. Three to one. A couple of people didn't. They were kind of like me. They didn't care. Okay, so that one's going to be rejected. And let's go to our car and see how we're doing on the engine. 89 and 89. Okay, I might let this go another couple of days. There we go. Let's see what it looks like now. 93. Okay, that's good enough because I want to work on our gearbox, which is our next lowest uh, item that we've got. And yes, we'll get back to the brakes. Uh, but for right now, this is, I need to get to the reliability and make sure if we can make it through a race without having to worry about repairing anything, then that's a beautiful thing. All right, there we go. We got some more scouting done, or at least one more. And let's see what we've got. All right, we want a test track. Yep, you and me both, uh, because that would definitely help us out on both engines and the drivers. And let's see what our scouting report is. Lola Marsh would be a low quality driver. Okay, that's not good. That's not what we want. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at Lola and see where she's at. Great marketability which is helped just a little bit by uh, being a club goer. So she's got that. It's only temporary, of course. She's great in the wet weather. Wow, is she great. 
plus two on everything in the wet weather. And then she's good on feedback. And I love her marketability. That is good. I mean, that's just awesome. So uh, stamina, not great. But, okay, you know, overall, we've got some drivers. If we look at our driver lineup, I mean, you can see our number three drivers are just not good at all. Our number two drivers in general are not very good. So we're going to be looking for some drivers, and I'm hoping that we'll get one that will come along that will really – uh, put us in a position where we say we've got to have this particular driver. All right, and we have come to race time. So let's first begin by looking at our parts. All right, so we're 83 and 88. Excellent. That's what I want. Uh, and now that leaves our brakes really as the limiting factor as far as parts reliability go. And, okay, I'm liking that, that quite a bit. Okay, let's go ahead and continue through that. And let's see. So obviously we're not going to be looking at doing great. Um, I really hate to choose this one because it pays us virtually nothing. But, you know, the chance at fifth or above is almost nothing. So we'll go ahead and get hopefully what we can get. And let's let this thing auto pick and see where it puts us. All right. And my, I'm thinking we're going to be using a lot more of the soft tires so let's go ahead and run those up there we'll leave some super softs for qualifying just in case we need it and in fact let's go ahead and do it that way and now these guys will probably be using super softs well again we'll have to see how it works out with the stamina uh, and the tire combination but I'm guessing they're going to be using super soft since they won't have the stamina to do long runs and so I like, I kind of like this. They don't have anybody with enough stamina to really use the medium tire. Now, for that purpose, I'm going to give them at least a couple of those just in case. But, okay, I like this. That looks pretty good to me. Let's make sure we got the parts on the cars that we want. And let's see. So we're using the most reliability on car one. Okay, that's what I wanted to make sure of. Okay, so we're good there. And I think we're ready to head to the race. All right, now that we are ready for the race, practice and qualifying are done. Uh, let's first start out by setting up our knowledge bonuses and you can immediately see one that looks out of place. We haven't seen this one before and that is engine expert. Now, if we click on that one and bring up our options, we can see we had options for bonuses for soft tires, race trim and engine expert, but it is listed under the mechanics components. And the reason for that is if the mechanic and the driver have a good enough relationship which develops over time and then of course there are some uh, some things that can happen during the game that can hurt that relationship as well but once it gets to a certain point uh, if it's good enough you unlock some different things from uh, the mechanics component standpoint and one of these is engine expert and this is huge higher engine modes no longer impact condition that is absolutely huge so there's no way i'm passing that up now what it does is it's, it's both sort of good and bad. The good thing is that we don't have to worry about any condition issues because we're running the engine harder. The bad news is it's going to burn a lot more fuel. So we're going to have to keep that in mind, but there's no way I'm passing this up. I mean, this is just too much fun to pass up. And then, so on the other car, we don't have that available. You can see there are no components available from the mechanic. So we'll go with the standard soft tire and race trim, which is what I plan to use. Um, anyway, now on the car setup, uh, we got a pretty good setup. The, the cars are somewhere around 93, 94, 95 uh, percent of the setup. Again, not something I'm too terribly worried about. Uh, you just sort of do what you can with that. Sometimes you get lucky and get 99s, other times not. But the main thing to keep in mind here is on the tire choice. All right, so we've got some decisions to make on the tires. Um, I wanted to originally go about an hour. Well, that's no longer going to be possible because of the fuel uh, that they've got us going with. This fuel is, there's no way we're going to be able to do that, not without really working the engine and turning it down and all that kind of stuff, which I'm not interested in doing right now. That's just not uh, fun for me. So because we're going to be burning a lot more fuel, I need to match up the tire to that. And I think this is our best option given everything that we have. So we're going to be using the soft tires. And same thing over here, we're going to be using the super softs that I mentioned. 
Okay, again, matching up the tire to the amount of fuel. And in this case, we simply don't have the, the stamina in any of these drivers because uh, you can see the huge red zone area here. So we're going to be looking at short stints all around. And because of that, tire choice, we're going to go super softs. And then we're going to match up the fuel, which should be good enough. I'm planning on getting somewhere around 10% uh, less than what it shows me. So somewhere maybe 24 laps or so, 23 uh, somewhere in that range and then running the engine mode a little bit higher 26 laps of fuel should be good enough to get us to where we want to go but here's the one thing and i saved this to last this is the huge variable that we don't know about you can see when we first talked about this race uh, before we got to the race itself before we got to the track i had talked about how it had forecasted that we would have rain all over the place well we did have rain uh, at times during practice and then it really messed up qualifying we're going to start higher than we normally would be able to because it was sunny at the beginning of qualifying which i ran out and very quickly it gave us just enough time to get a lap on both cars uh, before the rain really hit hard then it rained very hard and then at the very end of the of the qualifying session i was able to get another lap in with our second driver to complete our qualifying session on uh, the dry but what that did is it got us a little bit better starting uh, spot than we would normally get because of that, that workaround. However, you see it's sunny right now, but if I look, you can see just on the edge there, it says that there's going to be some rain. Now, we don't have the building necessary uh, for the weather forecasting to see out any further than that. So I have no idea if that's going to be a brief rain shower or if it's going to come a monsoon and we're going to be in full wets very soon after that. I have no idea. So I'm going to go with the dry weather tires, and then we're just going to see what happens. Um, and that's, you know, I looked at our grid position, and if you look at there, I'm seeing everybody right now, it's showing them on dry weather tires. So we're just going to go for it, and we're going to have some fun with this thing. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and hit continue. And before we get started, always like to do a save. This game is notorious for crashing at the worst possible times, and it's happened to me before. Uh, so you can see everybody is on the dry tires. So what we're going to do is, yep, there they are. Everybody is on dry tires. So we're going to join them, and we're going to see how this works out. Let's get our camera angle set up. And again, I'm going to try to flop back and forth between 3D and 2D. I prefer the 3D mode if, my, if it doesn't cause me too bad of a headache with all the motion at 12 times speed. So let's go ahead and... All right, right now we can't see any of the conditions or anything because the race hasn't started. But let's go ahead and wait because what I've done is on the number one car here, I have actually turned the engine up full blast. We're going to be burning max fuel and we're going to be uh, running that engine as hard as we can because we don't have to worry about any condition issues. And there you see it. It's in the red, whereas we're just pushing a little bit more uh, for car number two. And here we go. Let's see what happens with not only the car, but the weather, driver stamina, the whole thing. And we're going to try to keep an eye as this goes. So it looks like we got a few minutes here before the rain really gets in here and hits. We're running 19th and 23rd, which is basically what you would expect right now. I mean, we're going to be faster for sure by running the engine harder. We're just going to have to keep an eye on our fuel. And let's see, when is the rain? Okay, we still got a little bit of time before the rain hits. And it looks like it's going to hit hard. Uh, so we may be making a pit stop here pretty shortly. But, once again, you just never know. So with rain as a real threat in this race, it's going to be interesting. Oh yeah, we're definitely getting up into uh, intermediate type wetness there. You can just see it on the track. And, all right, we're about to get into the start of the rain, so the sprinkles should show up on the screen here very shortly. And then, oh, yeah, it looks like we're headed toward full wets, uh, but we'll see. I'm going to hold out on dries as long as I can, and then we'll come in and we'll do what we need to do. But, yeah, it looks like we're headed toward full wets. You can see the rain showing up on the screen now. We're still okay uh, right now, but we're about to get out of the situation where, and, yeah, we're headed to full wets. All right, he's wanting to come in for enters, but I can see full wets uh, there. So let's let's go ahead and set up. All right, let's ignore him for right now. 
All right, let's have him go ahead and pit if I caught him in time. May not have. All right, so let's have him pit. I'm going to put on full wets because it looks like very soon it's going to be going to that, and I don't want to have to come back in a second time. Okay, so full wets, and we're going to go ahead and refill the tank as far as we can uh, because we don't know what it's going to do. That's part of the fun of not having uh, that HQ building exactly where you need and we're gonna leave our main driver in okay and then next time by we'll have our second driver come in and unfortunately he's gonna have a short stint on these tires so let's see full wets for him as well and fuel let's go ahead back up to let's say about 28 lap. he's not gonna make it that far but that'll save us a little bit on our next time in and pit strategy leave that alone all right there we go Okay, pit stop appears to be doing pretty good so far. No issues. All right, so we're in. You see that the first team that came in put on enters. We went to full wets. All right, and I think we're going to be good. I really think this is going to help us using uh, being able to use this, this engine mode. All right, so now we're on full wets for both drivers. And we'll keep an eye on the weather and see what happens. If it stays up here in full wet category, which it's not there yet. So we're slower right now because we got the wrong tires on. But I'm hoping that it will very quickly get into full wet territory and we'll be fine. But that remains to be seen. Okay, so far, so good. Or at least as good as you can expect. All right, rain is really coming down. So again, the reason I went to full wets is because I did not want to make an additional pit stop. I didn't want to run for a few laps on enters and then have to come back in for full wets. But it's looking like enters may not have been a bad play because it, you can see just on the right edge of what we can see up here that it's only spending a little bit of time in full wet territory and then it's coming back into the enter range. Okay. So, of course, we couldn't see that before. So, it turns out my guess was wrong on that. Okay. So, let's see. Now we're into a little bit into full wet range. So, we should pick up a little bit of speed. But we're going to be ready for another pit stop here shortly. Okay, so let's go ahead and get ready to swap out drivers. Tire choice, let's see. We'll go ahead and go on to some new enters. Fuel options, let's go back up to about, uh, let's go, let's put up a little bit more uh, fuel in there. I don't think we're going to have enough driver stamina to make that, but we're going to go with it. Okay, so we got a driver swapped out, fuel and tires. Okay, so they're going to come in first. And then, yeah, definitely looks like enters were the right play there. Now, everybody has come in. They swapped onto full wets. Uh, but, of course, they're going to have to come back in momentarily. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to wait on car number one until it gets just a little bit lower as far as the wetness on the track before I make the pit stop and go back to full or to, back to enters, rather. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting to where I really want to be. And again, the good thing is we're able to keep our driver out there for a good long while. All right, there we go. Now we're getting back down to where I want this thing to be to put enters back on. Yeah, there we go. And I've still got a little bit of time left on this first driver, so let's go ahead and set up our pit stop. And let's do enters and the fuel options. I uh, will probably, let's see, how much do I think we're going to get here? Uh, probably maybe 23, 24 more minutes, maybe. <laughs> so, so let's go with about, 
let's go with about 34 on fuel. That's, I'll tell you what, never mind. Just go ahead and fill this thing up um, and we'll deal with that. And that'll be a little bit less fuel we'll have to put in next time probably. Because again, we're going to let this guy run as long as we can. Uh, he's doing great right now on time. But again, the longer he can last, the better it is on our next drivers. Okay, we'll watch these other guys and see. They're all on full wits. They made an extra pit stop. Um, but you can see just how much that wrong guess on my part really hurt us on the strategy. All right, now we're going to be interested to see just how everything goes on the enters and just how long we need to be on these. I would like to time it out to where we can move back to dry tires by our next pit stop and not have to make a, a couple of pit stops with the same driver and really get into the habit of swapping out tires. So all right, so I dug us a pretty big hole here by picking the wrong tire. So now we're gonna try to dig back out of it. All right, you can see, once again, that engine mode is really helping our speed. And that is huge for us. All right, looks like enters are going to be really good through the end of maybe both stints for drivers here. Uh, but it's looking like at least for car number one, that's going to be a great thing. Okay, yeah, this is, we're getting toward the end of... Yeah, we're getting lower stamina here for car number one. The weather is still looking very wet. And I'm trying to make it as long as we possibly can because it's looking like it's going to dry out, um, as best I can tell. But I'm trying to make, make it last as long as we can. All right, so we're in 21st and then in last. And of course, I would imagine car number two is going to finish last, uh, aside from any other retirements that there might be. Okay, once again, keeping an eye on the fuel. All right, yes, driving time is going great for car number one, but this does, however, mean he won't be getting back in the car uh, toward the end of the race. All right, let's see if we can see any grip coming back into the track. No, not as far as we can tell. That would indicate that it's drying out. It will start to gain grip. Okay, there we go. So now, we didn't make it quite far enough to see, so I'm going to have to leave. Um, I think it's still going to be wet enough to leave enters on, but I'm going to take a chance. I'll tell you what, this is what we're going to do. We're going to have some fun. Who knows, it may start raining back hard again, and we may get another curve like we had at the beginning of the race. But I'm going to take a chance here. I mean, why not? Let's have some fun with this. We've got an hour and 15 minutes, which is amazing, out of our first driver. That is great. And we're going to get, you know, quite a bit out of our second driver as well. Not quite as much, but still a good amount. So let's go ahead and we're going to go with the soft tires. Now this, it says it's going to give us around 48 to 50 minutes. I would be shocked if we get anything more than maybe 45 minutes out of it. So we're looking at maybe 33 laps at the most on these tires, maybe. And of course, that assumes that this thing continues to dry out. So again, we'll see. So 33, let's go ahead and we're going to fill up the fuel and give the most fuel that we can get. All right, so part condition, uh, we're good. Everything is looking great engines a little bit lower than I would like but it's still perfectly fine for this point in the race and everything else looks like it might hold on except for maybe the rear wing okay all right we are set for our pit stop and let's see car number two is actually going to be in a little bit better position as far as the timing of this so we'll see how how things go again it's still wet out there to be on dries but if we if this turns out in our favor, this could be, we could be like a rocket ship. Okay, now we're about ready to make our pit stop for car number two. And I think I'm going to go with the same strategy because it looks like it is continuing to dry out. So let's go ahead and 
Let's see, let's make... I'd like to make one more... Yes, we're low on fuel. I'm aware of that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and make our pit stop. And again, you can see this. We're doing terrible on uh, stamina. So we're going to go dry weather tires. Once again, take one more look. It does look like it's drying out. So we're going to take the dry tires. And wow. Uh, let's see. How much stamina do we have here? Wow, that's just not much. That's maybe maybe 30 minutes of stamina. We'll see. So the tire choice would give us... Okay, let's go ahead and go with the soft tire. Because I need to spend some time with this driver in this car as much as I possibly can. Okay, so we're looking at... Let's go about 37 laps. I don't think, again, I don't think the stamina is going to allow us to go that far, uh, but we can hope. Park condition, uh, looks like we're okay, as far as I can tell. It looks like we may have to do something with the brakes before the end of the race, but other than that, we might be okay. So car number two, the big issue is going to be, can I get enough re uh, stamina recovery from the top two drivers to finish the race out? Because we're just now coming up on halfway through the race and th yeah this is just not good so <laughs> all right so this race is definitely not turning out exactly the way we would have preferred and that's my fault more than anything with the tire call at the beginning of the race all right here we go so we're getting should be some more grip on the track coming in shortly. But once again, our call for for the dry weather tires just hasn't worked out as good as I had hoped it would. But now that it is indeed getting much drier out there than it was, so you got a lot less water on the track than we had when I initially put those tires on, we're in good shape. But it does look like it's going to be it would have been better for me to come in and uh, put those tires, uh, put more wet weather tires on rather than the dry weather tires. All right, so now it looks like everybody has come back in. Now everybody's on dry weather tires. Okay, very nice. So we were just a little bit too far ahead on that but if I look at the times uh, we're not that far out of of about 18th here now you can see the effect down here at the bottom of all the pit stops that we're gonna have to make with car 2 and just their stamina issues overall they are well out of it right now but I think we've got a shot for 18th if everything goes great for us on car number one so we're in the mix anyway. Okay, stamina is looking good. Okay, and driver number three, you can see 82 of stamina and a little bit higher red zone than I would, would like. But overall, I think we're going to be in good shape with regards to stamina on uh, car number one. And the question of can I make it to the end of the race with this much fuel? Um, no, not quite. <laughs> That's going to be a negative on that. But you are going to make it about perfect uh, with relation to the tires because we're getting low on the tires and I want to get these tires off at somewhere around between 20 and 25 percent left roughly. Uh, so the fuel and the tire wear are going to line up pretty good. And then I'm going to have him do a short stint on some super softs with the remainder of his stamina and then we'll bring in the other driver because I need to make sure that on this one more pit stop weather issues aside that we can make it to the end so that's what I'm looking for okay so let's go ahead and set up the pit stop 
we're going to keep this driver in there for a little bit longer because we still have an hour left and I need to clock off as much time as I can with this driver and once again we'll look at okay so it looks like there's no immediate issues with weather so we're going to go with the super softs and we won't have time to make it 22 laps but we'll go ahead and put in enough fuel just in case we'll put in about 33 that should be more than enough and let's head out because remember we're burning quite a bit more fuel at the higher engine mode than we normally would okay we're getting ready for our pit stop here as well so now we've staggered those out pretty good and this is where it's going to get interesting so we got 59 minutes left and neither one of these guys are going to be able to make it the whole way so we're going to put in the freshest of the two Rico is not quite back to 71 but he's very close so the entire choice once again will be the softs and let's see what can we get here maybe 35 or so laps So let's give him about 37 laps of fuel. That should be pretty good. Actually, okay, we're going to need to fix the brakes. And it looks like that should be it. Okay, let's go ahead and continue on there. All right, we should be faster on the super softs, at least as fast as we're going to get. So Anderson, I just need her to pick up as much time as she possibly can for the remainder of her stint. Oh, we got a refueling mistake over here on car two. So the problems just continue to compound there. Okay, so far everything's about as good as I could hope for. The timing of the weather and everything hasn't worked out uh, the way I would have preferred it to, but that's Welcome to racing. All right, yes, I know you want to push the tires, but we can't afford to right now because I need you to log some laps so that my final driver can make it the rest of the race distance. So we're running low on stamina as it is. All right, so we're about ready. And as I look, I mean, 45 minutes, I believe we can make it 45 minutes with our final driver. So this is pretty good. Let's go ahead and set up our pit stop. And once again, we look at the water. I don't see any on the way. And we'll put in our final driver. Driver choice will be, that should be, wow, it's gonna be just about right. Uh, let's see, or do we wanna go I tell you what, we might as well go ahead and push it. There's no reason not to. So 32 to 34 laps. Uh, we need all the fuel in here we can get. And parts condition, yeah, we're going to have to fix that, which is going to slow us down for sure. Uh, but okay. There we go. And we'll see how the AI does, because I would imagine they're going to need to fix some parts as well. And if they don't, then who knows, they might fall out of the race like they did uh, last time. So now we're going to wait to queue up our pit stop. All right, right now it's showing excess fuel here. I don't think that will be the case once we get to the end, but I actually hope it is. I hope we got enough fuel to do this. Okay, we'll see how are we doing on this final pit stop. It looks like we're going to have enough with Mike Ham uh, on stamina to be able to make it. But unfortunately, we're not going to be able to make it 35 more minutes with Romano. Just not in the cards. Alright, so I've learned uh, an important lesson here today about putting on tires too quickly. It looks like it is uh, beneficial to go ahead and just 
because these look out far enough ahead that you know I could have put on the enters instead of going to full wets because we lost a lot of time there but that's how we learn okay getting closer to our pit stop and then we'll do one more driver change in this car uh, but again it's not gonna matter probably a whole lot because we are running last at this point so driving time Romano's doing great with the amount of stamina he has all right let's go ahead and bring him into the pits 23 minutes left and let's put Mike Ham back in and let's see we're definitely gonna go as long as there's no weather nope okay so 24 to 27 minutes okay we're cutting it close but hey why not that's gonna be about we're gonna go up to about let's say 20 on fuel park condition okay I think we're okay to make it to the end and let's do this so we're done with pit stops on car number one what we can hope for here is that some of these other guys need to make more pit stops and we can move up at least one spot because that's where our sponsor objective would kick in and we'd make a little bit of extra money all right in fact let's go ahead and push right now because we won't need all of this stamina to make it to the end so we might as well go ahead and push for all we're worth and it doesn't look like anybody ahead of us is going to need to pit for tires I don't know about fuel but I would imagine not alright so I'm really looking forward to getting some new drivers in here so we can get some speed we'll continue working on our car as well because we got a lot of work to do before we're able to reasonably compete with these guys alright 10 minutes left and it looks like we're gonna be perfectly fine you can see the stamina definitely goes down quicker the harder you push but it looks like we're gonna be like we're going to be okay as far as uh, part conditions we had to do a little bit of repairs but not all that much and of course tires wearing down yep that's because I'm pushing them extremely hard but I better slow down because it's gonna wear completely out if I continue that I love these driver comments. The tire wear is not helping my lap times. Wow, that is a an amazing discovery that he has made. All right, we're coming right down to the end of the race, so waiting for the leader to cross the line. There we go. So the leader has crossed, and so now next time we cross the line, we'll finish up in last place. So unfortunately, we weren't able to get back any of those positions that I lost us at the beginning of the race or toward the beginning okay let's go ahead and finish up here and we'll move on through all right yes let the game by all means get a save in here okay we'll continue on we'll get to both the morale and the money screen no issues for us in scrutineering all right not worried about the driver or the team championship I mean we know where we stand right now okay here we go the final few screens if it will ever load them there we go all right so driver morale still looking very good uh, on that we're not terribly worried about uh, chairman happiness I mean we're supposed to come in last place so morale for the chairman should be perfectly fine 
uh, and continue to increase. Okay, let's go ahead and move over to car number two. Morale looks good over here as well. Not terribly worried about the third driver. All right, so we lost 1.36 million. So that'll, of course, bring our money down some. But I think we're going to be okay on money. Uh, of course, we'll have we'll have some sponsors that will come up for uh, for renewal, and those spots will be open, and, and hopefully we'll get some more uh, nice money along the way. Uh, but that'll do it for this video. So unfortunately, we didn't get the result that we were looking for, but hey, that's how we learn. Thank you very much for joining me, and stay tuned for more of our Let's Play series of Motorsport Manager.